In other words, rise above the gloomy days because somewhere over the rainbow, there's something that will inevitably make you smile. Well, today's weather probably made you smile. Everyone outside had a little pep in their step. It was gorgeous out there. Jackets open, shorts even. Why not? It was well above average all across southern Ontario. You might be checking in to see how long that's going to last. We have the answer for you. Glad you could join us. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkik. So it's going to cool down significantly into tomorrow, and that's because we have this cold front pushing through the area, and the winds are going to change direction to more of a westerly flow through tomorrow afternoon. And we are seeing rain showers tonight, parts of Hamilton, uh, Toronto, over towards Ottawa. Those showers will persist into tomorrow morning. And then look at that. When you see start to see light blues that's temperatures hovering close to the freezing mark so Wednesday morning and afternoon we're going to feel the chill back to where we should be for this time of year so the heat back on in the car and certainly on in the house now through to Thursday morning we're going to be looking at a bit of a messy mix across southern Ontario we've got the rain tonight into Wednesday morning Kingston Ottawa but then anywhere around Perry Sound Barry North Bay we are looking at a rain snow mix and tonight in Sudbury they're getting snow as well as freezing rain. And then looking ahead to Thursday, there are some lake effect snow bands that will start to set up. Wednesday morning, Barry minus two with the wind chill. St. Catharines feeling like minus two, Hamilton minus four, so very different than today. And when we start to see all this blue, that is snow. Precipitation types are staying as snow into Wednesday. And this is our first snow squall watch of the season and it's mainly in through cottage country along the shores of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron they're getting between five to ten centimeters of snow so good reminder to definitely get those snow tires on I'm very proud of myself I have an appointment booked for tomorrow morning I'm getting mine on ready to go Wednesday into Thursday these are our winds they're out of the west and perfect uh, difference between the lake temperature and the upper atmosphere temperature to create these lake effect squalls which continue for the next two days on and for the afternoon you were probably taking off a couple of the layers because it was surprisingly above average today for many when they stepped outside. Glad you could join us tonight. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkik. For Tuesday, we got up to 17 degrees at Pearson, Hamilton 16.8, uh, Toronto in the downtown core 16, and Lake Simcoe Airport is the hot spot in the province and the country today at 24 degrees. So very warm there. Wednesday morning, we have a completely different air mass in place. It's going to be a chilly one. It'll feel like minus three in Toronto, minus two in Catherine, St. Catharines, and Ottawa sitting at nine degrees. They're going to feel the effects of the cold air eventually. It's going to take till Thursday to get there. And look at the afternoon here. Toronto four. Barry will be two with a rain snow mix. Towards Owen Sound, we have some flurries and rain snow mixing as well. So a completely different day. And these temperatures are actually below average. So we go from above average today to below average. And the wind setup tomorrow is a westerly flow. So off of the lakes, we're going to see some snow squalls. Close to the shores of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron, places like Muskoka, Perry Sound could get five to 10 centimeters of snow Wednesday into Thursday. So these are our lake temperature differences. We've got uh, 9 degrees and versus the upper atmosphere temperature. So our 850 millibar temperature. We need a difference of 13 degrees to create the lake effect squalls. And we're certainly getting that set up very well into the next couple of days. It's actually a very perfect setup uh, meteorologically. Wednesday into Thursday, there's the snow. It's not reaching down towards Toronto, but we're certainly cool enough that we could see some flurries by the... Kevin Yard was live at the Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton for a Remembrance Day ceremonies. Tell us a little bit about these planes. Uh, the aircraft behind us is a CF-104 Starfighter. It was used in the Cold War. And Mike Arsenault was in Ottawa. People here, they're already starting to line up behind the barricades, are bundled up. We also spoke to meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum about the cold temperatures. This time the focus of the cold air will be the Great Lakes. Join us again tomorrow morning, 5.30 to 9. Uh, most concerning would be places like the Nickel Belt, which have seen a lot of snow and on top of it, hours upon hours of freezing rain. Sudbury in particular has seen about three hours of freezing rain since last night, but other places a little bit more. So freezing rain warnings for Sudbury, anything marked in this sort of pink color. And then north of that, as we get to Timmins and Chapleau, where Chapleau has seen already 25 centimeters of snow, there's a winter storm warning. So strong winds, more snow, and north of that, snow 
snowfall warnings too. So a little bit of everything. As we head down towards cottage country, our first official snow squall watch of the season. So we've got some westerly winds coming off the lake, the lake effect snow machine kicking into high gear for tomorrow. Places like Perry Sound, Concarden could see five to 10 centimeters of snow into Thursday. So this continues Wednesday and Thursday as well with that perfect wind setup. This evening into Wednesday morning, down towards Toronto, London, Hamilton, seeing some showers this evening, fairly light in nature, under five millimeters, and it will clear up by tomorrow morning. North of that, though, getting some mixing and then the freezing rain up towards Sudbury. But generally speaking, we are getting snow in the north. And for Wednesday, it's going to be snow from Sudbury down towards cottage country with the lake effect. And we're seeing snow all across up towards cottage country because it's cold enough. We're seeing a big cool down into tonight. I mean, earlier today, Barrie was well above average, but for tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like minus two. Toronto will feel like minus three. And by the afternoon, Toronto, you're high just four. Well, coming up, we'll take a look at some of the best videos we've seen this week. And Wow, what a great shot at the end there. And a pretty spectacular day today. A little bonus warm up got up to 17 degrees in Toronto. So getting out on the water, well, it just felt like the right thing to do. Now, this time of year, of course, usually it's a little more gloomy out there. So it's a good time of year to pick up those vitamin D supplements. As we look at the weather forecast into this evening, we see snow in the north, places like Sudbury getting snow, as well as freezing rain, and down towards cottage country, a bit of a mix. Toronto, though, Hamilton, Barrie even, mainly it's rain, and we are going to see this clearing up for that morning commute, but the big cool down comes tomorrow. We'll be below average, even though today we were above average, a complete opposite swing of the pendulum. Wednesday morning, feeling like minus three in Toronto, we're going to have some strong westerly winds sustained between 20 to 30 kilometers an hour. So it's going to be gusty out there. And by the afternoon, Toronto's just four degrees. St. Catharines four, Hamilton three. So quite a change compared to today. Coming up, we'll talk more about this Arctic blast that's impacting the entire country. Well, today's weather probably made you smile. Everyone outside had a little pep in their step. It was gorgeous out there. Jackets open, shorts even. Why not? It was well above average all across southern Ontario. You might be checking in to see how long that's going to last. We have the answer for you. And for the afternoon, you were probably taking off a couple of the layers because it was surprisingly above average today for many when they stepped outside. Well, today's weather probably made you smile. Everyone outside had a little pep in their step. It was gorgeous out there. Jackets open, shorts even. Why not? It was well above average all across southern Ontario. You might be checking in to see how long that's going to last. We have the answer for you.